With Russia's inclusion of Crimea, a number of aspects of business life are changing. For one, the cash people carry in their wallets is changing. Tom Barton explains. There are queues for ATM machines at banks in Crimea. The transitional period is making difficulties for those taking out cash. But that cash itself is set to change. According to local pronouncements, the Ukrainian grivna is slowly on its way out to be replaced by the Russian ruble. We asked some locals what they thought of the currency change. It's another piece of evidence that we are at last home. I don't know. It might have an effect, but really I don't know. It's very difficult for us because something costs 10 grivna, but 100 rubles. And it's difficult because we get paid and we don't know. How will we be paid in rubles? Will it be more or less? After the referendum, the newly created Bank of Crimea set a temporary exchange rate of 3.8 rubles for one grivna until April the 1st. But in banks, shops and restaurants here in Simferopol, the value of Ukraine's currency has been volatile, reportedly sinking as low as 2.6 rubles per grivna. Consumer views here range from the enthusiastic to the nervous. Local economists say there will be bumps in the road ahead. There will be a period of adaptation and businesses will suffer. There are some links between Crimean and Ukrainian economies, production links, consumer links and financial. Apart from some technical issues, local traders think the change to rubles will make little difference. No, absolutely unimportant. It will be absolutely the same if it were the Ukrainian grivna or the Russian ruble. Cards, unfortunately, still don't work with rubles, but we hope the banks will get on with that work and that people will be able to pay in rubles with cards. The coming of the ruble has so far been a quiet one. To ease the transition, the grivna will be used here as a parallel currency until 2015. For now, Crimeans say they expect business to go on much as before. Tom Barton, CCTV, Simferopol.